So hey everyone, I hope you all are well. And uh, from the past uh, few months, I have been taking so many sessions. And so today is a very special session on Kubitro. So I'll start with my introduction. I'm Akshita Gupta. I'm currently pursuing MTech uh, CSE at Triple IT Pune. I have been um, in an XROS fellow, Extended Reality Open Source fellow, uh, Major League Hacking fellow. I've been contributing to open source since the second year of my college. And I love hackathons, open source. Along with that, I'm a big IoT enthusiast. So this session is for all the IoT enthusiasts here. So now let's talk about Kubitro. So Kubitro is the fastest way to work with the data generated by the IoT devices, sensors, and through Kubitro, you can have the real-time sensor data anywhere from any part of the world where you are using it. Now, before that, I'll start with what is IoT because we need to understand what is IoT. So we all use mobile phones, uh, IoT is involved in it, IoT enable uh, the devices, the data centers, cities, lots of have, they all have IoT embedded in it. So what is IoT? So IoT is a network of physical devices embedded with sensors, software. They allow a data communication between different devices over the internet. So we know that there are lots of sensors. There are ultrasonic, gas sensor, color sensor, accelerometer, lot of sensors that we use in our project when we are in bachelors. And also, uh, if you are an IoT enterprise, you might, like you have used most of the sensors. If I talk about when you go to a mall, you see, uh, you hear fire alarms. So what is this fire alarm all about? They have a smoke sensor embedded it. So whenever they sense any kind of smoke, they produces an alarm. So to understand Kibitro, I'll start with a very basic uh, project. This is the temperature and humidity monitor. Like you can monitor the temperature and humidity from any part of the world using Kibitro. So for that, we will be needing a sensor that is temperature and humidity sensor. And these sensor, they produces some kind of data. And from that data, we have to produce the analysis. So that data, for, for having analysis, we need to post pro, uh, we need to have pro, we have to process that data. And for processing that data, we'll be using a microcontroller, which is Arduino Nano. You all know what is Arduino Nano. Most of the like uh, in BTEC also we are taught in bachelors about Arduino. And now we need to send that data to the cloud. So to send that data to the cloud, we will be needing a Wi-Fi connectivity. So for that, we'll be using ESP 826s Wi-Fi module. Now, when the data reaches the cloud, the Kubitro work comes into action. It visualizes and post-process the data. And to see the analysis, they have a Kubitro portal where you can see the real-time data. Uh, in the, uh, they have a very uh, beautiful widgets where you can visualize the data. I will tell you more about this in the further slides. Now, let me talk about Kubitro features. They, they have a lot of no-code integration with various IoT data sources. They are connected with Rack Wireless. They are connected with Seed Studio. All the IoT enthusiasts, I know that you must be knowing Rack Wireless, Seed Studio devices and all things stack uh, integration, uh, cloud IoT platform. So they have a lot of uh, the like uh, connection with these uh, platform and you can directly connect with them. They have a no-code integration with these sources. They also offers uh, time series data storage. And like you can, uh, right now they have introduced this feature. So you can test that in the portal and I'll guide you to the portal too. They have a functions for alerts and data modifications connected with Mailgun, SendGrid, Slack, Twilio, Webhooks. I think Twilio, you must be knowing, like if someone is in a hackathon, Twilio is a sponsor of uh, Major League Hacking Hackathon also. So I've used uh, Twilio for a WhatsApp connectivity. And now you can also, in Kubitro, you can connect with the Twilio too. 
so let me start with a very funny meme like uh, we know this uh, correct po position and incorrect position and this one is the programmer position so my project that i am going to guide you is connected to this like during the during the covid time okay yeah there were some messages that were coming i just closed them so during the COVID time, uh, we have seen that we were working a lot uh, during, uh, like when we were spending more time in front of our computers and we were having like a lot of neck pain too. Like if we spend a lot of time in computer. So for that only I thought like uh, uh, I was creating lots of IoT projects. So I thought like why not I can like uh, work on a project that can alarm you when you are not maintaining a proper posture. So I searched about some sensors and all. Then I got to know, let's start with very basic. Let me just analyze our neck motion data when whenever we are working in front of our computers. So I found a very um, basic project of analyzing the neck motion data using MPU 6050 ESP826 Cubitro. Now MPU 6050 is a three axis gyro, three axis accelerometer that will capture your motion data. And this will be, and finally, when you, when you're all like the data is being captured, it will be sent to the Cubitro portal for the further analysis, because this project is a huge project because to alarm you when you are not maintaining. So I thought, why not let's start with the analysis phase and let's do the analysis in the Cubitro portal. So now I will guide you through the setup, the Cubitro portal and the complete project. This is one of my projects that I made using Cubitro. I, I made lots of projects and uh, you can understand it more better. Let me explain further. So this was the basic setup that I used, MQ6050 sensor, ESP8266. This is the Wi-Fi module for connecting with the uh, cloud and sending the data to the Cubitro platform. Now, this was the very basic codes, and I'll share the code with all the attendees uh, through email. The, it was a code for getting the neck motion data in the serial monitor. Like you are seeing all the angle data is being there, just the data that is being uh, captured and you can see in the serial monitor. Now the time comes for connecting it with the Cubitro. Like let's integrate it with Cubitro portal. I'll guide you through the complete portal. When you go to portal.cubitro.com, you need to create your account, um, all the details that you have to give here. Then you have to click on create a new project. Just uh, give your project a name, a description, and click on create. After that, choose a source of connectivity. Now for this project, I chose MQTT source. So MQTT is in a machine to machine network protocol and it is used to connect with the devices that are in remote locations and they have a very limited bandwidth. So I chose MQTT source and you can select chip stack. They are connected like they, are, they have a lot of uh, data sources that you can connect with Senet, Helium, Thing stack. Chirp stack, so you can connect with any of the devices that you uh, that you are interested to in your project. Now you have to go to the device and you have to expand the MQTT server host where you will get the unique device ID and the token, the username and the password. You need to copy that, and when you copy that, you need to go to that uh, basic code that you created and just paste that device ID and device token because this is uh, necessary to connect with the Kibitro portal because the data that you are seeing right now in the serial monitor, that will be shown in the Kibitro for the analysis phase. You will be adding the device ID, device token that you got from the portal. Now you will see you are getting that data in the real time when uh, of capturing all the um, uh, like angles, data acceleration, rotation, all the data that you will be showing in the portal like this. And also they have a various beautiful charts for the analysis. Right now uh, they have introduced lots of uh, cool widgets that you can integrate. So Kibitro is very, um, it's like, it's, uh, it's, it's great for the real time analysis of the sensor data that is being generated. So you can see the acceleration data, temperature data, rotation data. Next. So this was my project of the basic project of the next motion data analysis using Cubitro. I created a project on soil moisture monitoring using ESP826 and Cubitro. 
so in this soil moisture monitoring uh, i created one project using microbit 2 microbit bbc microbit they connect they have inbuilt accelerometer gyro it's a very great uh, microcontroller microbit also they have a switch switches to work with so i just made a project using microbit for soil moisture analysis monitoring then i thought for the real time data analysis because in microbit they don't have this uh, iot connectivity for that you will be needing the iot bit so cubitro comes into action here so what i did was i connected uh, my uh, this um, uh, moisture sensor with uh, mk like this wifi module like i shown you with the mp650 and you can see like how the soil moisture data is being shown in the uh, uh, in the portal so you can like you can see the soil moisture level so lots of lots of project for the real time data analysis you can made make using cubitro and i was the ambassador at that time and also i got lot of uh, uh, benefits on being an ambassador like i um, uh, like uh, when i was an ambassador i joined their global network of diff uh, like there were lots of developers also from uh, from at a global level and uh, also i was uh, getting lots of uh, the swag from cubitro also uh, like the early you can say na lots of iot companies they launch their product and you get to use them before they are actually launched like rack wireless they send us the helium developer kit so this was a great kit and you can directly use it with the cubitro also so i just uh, like uh, tell you you can join this cubitro ambassador program if you are interested in iot because it's a great opportunity to work in this uh, um, like great organization so iot and to says please go for this ambassador program it's awesome so this was all about uh, uh, cubitro explanation and all and at last i'll have a q and a session where you can ask the question too so thank you so much everyone for listening about the cubitro their portal and uh, their new future features if you like the session so please post your experiences by tagging me at the rate akshita archer in twitter and i host um, like weekly sessions uh, and on different different topics different uh, product reviews also so feel free to subscribe my youtube channel too Uh, in which i share my videos i'll also share the recording with you all thank you so much everyone for joining and